Hello there! Welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. First of all, this is our 23,000 subscribers special Halloween dress. The whole outfit! I am... I'm gonna be honest, this is my favorite dress that I've ever made in Touch of Magic. If you want to see the whole process, how this was created, check out uh, the live stream. One of the recent live streams when we designed it. It is absolutely... It's just my favorite dress. I don't think I, I, I will ever make anything better than this dress. It just fits Halloween so well. But anyway, I just finished Beast Level 10 uh, Friendship Quest and... This thing was placed in the valley, so I'm kind of curious how how does this actually work? How do you uh, m like? I've I've heard people told me in the stream that I can buy flowers from here, so good day to you. Let's upgrade this. Improvements to the bells to the beast's greenhouse. You'll be able to cultivate even more rare flowers. Whoa! Whoa. All right, this is gonna be a lot of gold. The village is sure to have a more beautiful baguettes. Bouquets soon enough. Alright, so level one. This is level one, so what does it do? Browse. Flower cap six. Next flower in 20 minutes. Wait a minute, so this thing literally works like Moana's boat. You can... Whoa! That is sick! Huh? And it's gonna be expensive! Finally! Something to spend my coins on! I appreciate it, Scrooge! Yeah. We are maxing this thing out! And I think... What, what's the limit is gonna be? I'm sure that Wiki is gonna tell me exactly uh -huh. uh, what, what is the stats on this thing. Let me find this. I'm sure Wiki knows. What flowers each level gets unlocked. I mean, there's no reason not to max it out, right? Because, uh... Because gold is easy to get. Unless you literally just started playing. Then maybe you'll have problems maxing it out. But if you if you unlocked Forgotten Lands, just go farm some pumpkins and you're gonna have money to upgrade this in a couple hours. Opportunity. Very marvelous. Uh -huh. All right, Scrooge. Fifty thousand. Okay, this is gonna take the rest of my money. Good. All right. While I'm upgrading this, let me tell you some information from Wiki about the Beast Greenhouse. So yeah, you unlock it from level ten friendship uh -huh. quest with Beast. <laughs> It's a stall which offers free flowers after a set amount of time. It's unlocked during the Beast Level 10 Friendship Quest, that's exactly what I said. It provides two important benefits. It generates flowers at no cost, without needing to spend time foraging. It can provide flowers from any biome. It's the only source of the red roses. Which flowers appear cannot be controlled, so it's random, it seems like. So the question is... What are the roses even used for? Like, it's cool that we can get this new flower from this, uh, stall. But why do we need roses? Alright, for, for, to, to, to greenhouse bay, we crafted upgrades. Upgrading the greenhouse can be done using star coins. Each level adds more flowers and reduces the time it takes for the greenhouse to be available to gather from. So... Basically, level one, uh, gives you four slots. Level 2 gives you 6 slots, 8 slots, 10, 12, and the final upgrade, level 10, gives you 20 slots. Uh-huh. Okay, wait, I just maxed it out. Bye-bye! Oh! So now the next flower will appear in 5 minutes, 37 seconds, so I'm assuming it's about 6 minutes? Or 7, potentially? All right, let's this thing run and let's see what kind of flowers we can get from here. This is fascinating. It looks absolutely glorious. Here we go. Thumbnail acquired. It doesn't look like it's full. It still looks like it has it's missing some things inside. Oh, we only got 18 out of 20 so far, so I need to wait for like 9 more minutes to see what else is in here. Alright, let's just collect and see what it has. 
We got six roses, orange, star lily, purple, marsh, milkweed. Oh my god, all of this. So we got random flowers pretty much. So it works exactly as Moana's boat, except it does give you a red rose as a unique item. And I have no clue. Let's see if it unlocked any new recipes. It's nice to see the sunshine. I don't know what, what the rose is used for. Potentially... They can be really good gifts or something you can use uh, to level up characters' friendships. But I don't think you will ever need to pick flowers again. So now you can actually focus on watering them. So what I... Like, now there is absolutely no excuses to do this. What you need to do, and I highly recommend doing this, is to create a flower patch on every single biome like this. Put every single flower... Well, I'm missing a couple. It, imagine it's full. Put every single flower that spawns in the biome in this patch and just keep watering them every morning. When you first open the game, found the patch that has dried flowers. It's always going to be only one in one biome. And just water them to get the memories. And if you ever need flowers for anything else, don't pick them. Just go to Beast's Flower Shop and just uh, collect them every once in a while. This is incredible. So what does this mean? What does this mean for the game? That means that potentially we have fish one now. Uh, we have, I would assume that Wally's garden is kind of very similar mechanic for the farming thing. So we can get, uh, we can get uh, fruits, vegetables. We can get uh, flowers we can get crystal stall we can buy a lot of materials the only major thing that's left that we cannot get like this yet is gems so whenever the next update comes i mean not next update but like one of the future updates i am anticipating a something similar for gems where you can just come maybe some maybe if we got maybe if i've cinderella we're gonna have uh, something like uh, the dwarves that are gonna live near the mines and they can have their own stall where you can just come or either buy gems or actually have the same mechanic where you can literally generate gems over time. You just come there and uh, the dwarves are gonna mine you a bunch of gems. Anyway, I really wanna see how this thing looks when it's a full of flowers. Look at this photo. Look at this. This is a thumbnail. This is gorgeous. All right, so the full uh, this this is how the full uh, f f flower stall looks like. So many flowers. It's incredible. Let's see what we get inside. Collect. We have five roses. So an average you're gonna be getting looks like five six roses per harvest, and a bunch of other flowers as well. And also, did they change the way the flowers look, like the ki the the icon of the flower? This is incredible. Six minutes, ten minutes per... Uh, ten flowers so per minute. Perfect. I'm going to be collecting all of them until I fill up three large chests full of flowers and I will never need flowers again. This is this is the best addition in my opinion. And I'm surprised they didn't advertise it in any way because this is game changer. I will never pick another flower ever in my life. I will just water them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what are your thoughts about the uh, the flower stall and what do you think, what kind of stall should be added next? Once again, I'm pretty confident we're going to see the gems at some point. Uh, I'm still curious what are the uses for roses. If there is any crafting recipe that uses roses that I don't know about, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, looking forward to uh, more bell quests. Going to be uploading them for the next week or two. I pretty much finished all of the quests at this point, but yeah, it was it was super fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.